patients are once seen as challenging to treat has become a manageable disease thanks to significant advances in medical technology. Immune checkpoint inhibitors have played a key role in this transformation. Immune checkpoint inhibitors, or ICIs, are drugs that help maintain the immune system's ability to fight cancer. ICIs, a type of immunotherapy, have gained attention as the fourth cancer treatment after surgery, chemotherapy, and radiotherapy. In 2018, Honjo Tusku won the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. His discovery contributed to the development of ICIs. ICIs can nearly eliminate cancer, even when it has progressed and spread to other organs. They have successfully extended patients' lives. In Japan, seven types of ICIs have been approved as of mid-2024. They are used to treat over 10 types of cancer, including lung, stomach, breast, and colorectal cancer. While immune checkpoint inhibitors can have dramatic effects for some cases of stage 4 cancer, they only work for about 20 to 30 percent of all patients with the disease. We'll explore the forefront of Japanese research that aims to overcome this challenge and to make immune checkpoint inhibitors accessible to more people. Ten years have passed since cancer treatment with ICIs began in Japan, ahead of the rest of the world. Lung cancer patient Miki Masahiro decided to undergo this treatment. In 2015, cancer was found in both of his lungs. He received a diagnosis of stage 2B. Despite chemotherapy and radiotherapy, the cancer returned and spread to his brain. In 2017, the cancer recurred a second time in his left lung. His doctor suggested treatment with ICIs. <laughs> Miki began the treatment, receiving an ICI via an intravenous drip every three weeks. Two and a half months later, significant changes began to appear. The cancer, which had been about the size of a fingertip, had shrunk to just a few millimeters. Our immune system detects and attacks pathogens and other foreign objects that enter the body. It also targets cancer cells, which develop due to abnormalities in normal cells. This footage shows a cancer cell being killed by a type of immune cell called a T cell. Cancer cells form in our body every day. But our immune system, centered around T cells, continuously kills them, preventing the development of cancer. T cells are the key to understanding how ICIs work. Some cancer cells manage to survive. They do this by stopping T cell attacks. T cells have breaks on their surface to stop them from launching excessive attacks that could damage healthy cells. One such break is the PD-1 molecule. To activate this break, 
cancer cells produce a molecule called PDL1. When PDL1 binds to PD1 on T cells, the break is applied, stopping the attack. This mechanism is known as an immune checkpoint. ICIs block this immune checkpoint, allowing T cells to resume their attack. By preventing T cells and cancer cells from binding, ICIs stop the break from being applied. T cells can then keep attacking and killing cancer cells. To learn more about ICIs, we spoke with lung cancer expert Seike Masahiro, who is involved in an international clinical trial for these drugs. This is a PET CT scan image of the lungs of a stage 4 lung cancer patient. The cancerous parts are shown in red. The primary lung cancer measures about 4 centimeters. It has spread to nearby lymph nodes. かなり骨の部分にもですね、転移をしていて、この患者さんは初回こちらに来た時に腰の痛みが強くてですね、歩けなくて車椅子で来たような患者さんでした。Seke suggested a treatment using both anti-cancer drugs and ICIs. Three months after starting the combined treatment. The cancer had almost disappeared. One year after discontinuing the medication, the patient is healthy enough to visit the hospital on foot. This is a graph comparing the survival rates of stage 4 lung cancer patients treated with chemotherapy alone and those given a combination of chemotherapy and an ICI. The five-year survival rate for chemotherapy was only 11.3%. When combined with an ICI, it was 19.4%. However, ICIs can overly activate the immune system, causing side effects such as colitis, thyroid dysfunction, interstitial lung disease, and dermatitis. Mickey did not experience any side effects. He completed his treatment and has regular checkups. Three years after he stopped taking medication, he remains cancer free. Mickey used to be a chef of Chinese cuisine. He now spends his days quietly and enjoys making pork buns in his garage. Sharing his homemade pork buns with family and friends brings him great happiness. ICI treatment involves a significant challenge. These drugs are effective for only 20 to 30% of patients, 
and it is difficult to accurately predict who will respond until the treatment is tried. Iwai Yoshiko is trying to uncover the reasons for this. She aims to establish a method to determine who will benefit from ICIs. Iwai made a major contribution to the development of ICIs as a member of Nobel laureate Honjo's research team. She was involved in finding PDL1, which puts the break on T cells. She also helped to create an antibody to prevent this breaking. Immune checkpoint inhibitors, or ICIs, are proving increasingly effective for different types, particularly for advanced cancers. So what are your thoughts on this? What sort of research are you currently working on? EY began this research after examining a graph comparing the changes in survival rates for ICIs and chemotherapy. What caught EY's attention was the ICI's L-shaped curve. After a sharp decline in the survival rate, it stabilizes. This suggests that ICIs are effective for some people, but not for others. EY believed that by uncovering the reasons for this, it would become possible to accurately predict who will respond to ICIs. は、Using blood samples from non-small cell lung cancer and gastric cancer patients, EY discovered two important markers that determine ICI effectiveness. She co-authored a research paper published in 2024 in a leading international pharmacology journal. The first marker measures the strength of the body's immune response. The immune response is the action taken by immune cells against foreign substances. A strong response attracts many T cells to cancer cells. The cancer cells secrete PDL1 to stop T cell attacks. Only then does the ICI become effective, halting this mechanism. However, if the immune response is weak, fewer T cells gather around the cancer. As a result, the cancer cells will be less likely to release PDL1 to stop attacks. Even if an ICI is taken, its effectiveness will be limited. In fact, parts of the PDL1 secreted by cancer cells enter the bloodstream. EY discovered that by measuring the amount in the blood, the strength of the immune response can be determined. The second marker indicates whether blood vessel walls break easily. Some people have fragile blood vessel walls that are easily damaged. Cancer cells can enter the bloodstream through the broken walls and spread to other parts of the body.
っと、免疫応答だけを考えていたのでは死を治すことはできなくてがんがどのくらい悪性かあるいは組織がどのくらい壊れているかという2つの要素を考えないとがんが治りやすいか治りにくいかを判定することはできないそれが今回の新しい発見です。In an experiment, EY divided patients into three groups based on blood sample data and analyzed their survival rates. The results showed that ICIs were most effective for the group with strong immune responses and durable blood vessel walls. These patients had a survival rate of about 80%. Those with weak immune responses also benefited to some extent with a survival rate of 40%. But the group with strong immune responses and fragile blood vessel walls experienced a rapid decline, with many passing away in about one year. ドクターにとってもどういう治療法をするのが一番適切かということを考える材料になるそれが一番のメリットではないかと考えています。EY is working with a testing company aiming for practical application within three years。これで終わりではなくてこれからさらに追求していきたいと。聞かない人たちに対してそれを克服できるような新しい治療法を考えつくことができるんではないかというふうに考えていますなので私たちの現在の目標はその聞かない人たちに対してどういう治療法を提供できるのかこれを目標に頑張っていますこれは現在の Intestinal bacteria are closely linked to immune cells. Researchers are hoping that these bacteria will boost the effectiveness of ICIs. In 2022, Takeda and his research team found through mouse experiments that a substance produced by a certain type of lactic acid bacterium increases the effects of ICIs. 特定の乳酸菌が作る EPS と呼ばれる多糖体が免疫チェックポイント阻害剤の効果を上げたっていうのが私の発見ですね。This image shows EPS, the mesh-like structures stretching from the rod-shaped lactic acid bacteria. When EPS is absorbed into the intestines, it stimulates the T cells there. These stimulated T cells travel through the body and find cancer cells. They then attract attack oriented T cells. EPS が直接がんを攻撃するわけでもなければ EPS で活性化された T 細胞が直接がんを攻撃するわけではなくてあくまで腸の中で EPS によって刺激された T 細胞ががんのところまで行ってそのがんを直接攻撃している T 細胞を応援する。Experts think that people who don't respond well to ICIs have weak immune responses and few T cells around the cancer. Takeda believes that when T cells are stimulated by EPS, they attract attack oriented T cells to the cancer, creating an environment where ICIs are effective. EPS で活性化された T 細胞というのはゲームチェンジャーで
今まで不利だったのにまあそれを変えられる免疫応答をする環境に変えている。武田 gave two kinds of ICIs to mice transplanted with cancer cells. Some mice received only an ICI, while the others were given oral EPS alongside the ICI. These tumors were taken from each mouse 15 days after the experiment. Those in the top rows came from ICI only mice. Below are from the ICI EPS mice. There was more tumor shrinkage in the latter group. These graphs show changes in tumor size. The red lines represent the ICI only groups, while the blue lines show the groups that received an ICI and EPS. In both cases, the mice that were also given EPS had slower tumor growth rates. Mouse experiments have shown that combining ICIs and EPS is effective in treating colorectal and breast cancer. The research team is considering how this could be applied to humans, including the development of medications. When Takeda began his research, the idea of treating cancer with the immune system was met with skepticism worldwide. But ICIs have drastically changed the research landscape. もともと使用免ね免疫でがんなおすというのはずっと負け続けてたんで。やっと勝てるようになったのでこれからできるだけ今度勝てる数を増やすようにしていくなのでまだ全然改良の余地があるものであるというふうに考えていますがんを免疫で治せる可能性を広げていきたいというふうに思います Today Acupuncture and moxibustion practitioner Edward Obeidi will share some tips for maintaining a healthy body. Obeidi came to Japan in 1987, where he studied acupuncture and moxibustion. He obtained a national qualification and opened a clinic in Tokyo. If we look at the traditional way of looking at it, looking at it from the、uh, viewpoint of ki. We need key to function.、Uh, also, we need key to protect ourselves. Without key, it's a bit like having a, a car without the electrical system, without the the gasoline to to move it. In Eastern medicine, key refers to the energy necessary for life. Enhancing the energy in organs like the kidneys and the lungs is believed to lead to overall well-being. The first tip aims to boost kidney energy. We'll do a few easy exercises that make up one set. Let's begin with a simple breathing technique. It's just taking the energy that's normally up here, which we all have, and it is putting it down there. And if we put it down there, it will help the kidneys. Does that mean the energy is kind of stuck up here? Yeah. So we have a simple. Movement, where we just use the body to take the energy up, and then let it down. Stand straight with your feet shoulder width apart, palms facing upward, and raise your arms as you inhale. When your arms are near your head, bend your elbows, palms facing down, and lower your arms slowly as you exhale. Try not to arch your back too much. Repeat this 15 times. Obedi says this improves blood circulation and prepares your body to be filled with energy. Next, let's move the shoulders. Slowly rotate each shoulder in a large circle, one at a time, to further enhance the flow of energy. So this requires a, a sort of lazy effort. And I, I, I like、effort. the emphasis on lazy. Yeah, lazy, lazy. 
Obedi says it's important not to use too much force. Relax and repeat it 30 times. For the third exercise, we'll use a split bamboo, a health tool long used by the Japanese. In Eastern medicine, stimulating the entire sole of the foot is thought to increase the energy in the kidneys. Start with one foot, then try both after getting used to it. Do this for around three minutes. It's um, quite interesting. The sensations are very different on different parts of the foot. Yes. Uh, I mean, I would imagine there's lots of different benefits, but if you were to describe some of the main benefits, what would they be? Well, I would say, number one, it starts to turn this off. It brings the key down from the head, takes it away from our overworked mind. And the other thing is after this, you'll probably sleep better. You can also use a golf ball instead of bamboo. Roll it under your feet. Finally, repeat the first breathing exercise we did five times. Relax, and it's done. Next, we'll focus on energizing the lungs. In Eastern medicine, increasing the energy in this part of the body is believed to prevent colds. Warm the acupoints behind the neck and upper back. Use a hair dryer while massaging softly. Be careful not to burn yourself. Great. Brent, because I think everybody can kind of reach over the hair dryer and do it yeah. themselves or get their partner to do it if they live with someone. Now, for people that are sweating a lot, uh, for maybe the beginning of a cold, you do this very gently with a little bit further away and you rub and you do this until the sweating stops and then that's enough. Obedi says warming the back of the neck with a hot towel or hot water bottle is also effective. And I think the key point is, is not pushing yourself too much. Yeah, yeah I think especially in the West, we, we can learn from the East about being a, a little bit more, uh, less radical, I should say, with the way that we we exercise and the way we think about our health. And so it should be lazy effort. So Edward, thank you so much. Thank you. It's, it's been, been a pleasure talking to you, I tell you.